Hello everybody and welcome to DirectX 11 tutorial 25. In this tutorial we are going to create a template for our constant buffers. So let's go to our graphics folder and create a new item. We're going to call this constant buffer. At the top right let's click on show all files and let's drag this constant buffer header up to our graphics folder. Now we can uncheck show all files. So for our constant buffer header, we're going to do something like this. Uh, we're including error logger just so we can log errors. We're going to include constant buffer types. So instead of including constant buffer types, we can just include constant buffer. Uh, we are going to have part of it be similar to how we were doing the other template for our vertex buffer. However, in this, we are also going to store the device context because we have to be able to access the device context to map and unmap. We're storing our data. Uh, we have our git, git address of. For our initialize, we pass in the device and the device context. And what, what happens is we are saving the device context and we are just using the device to create the buffer and then we return the h result. This is exactly the same as how we had initialized the description structure in the last tutorial, except obviously we're passing in T here instead of hard coding the constant buffer type. Apply changes is how we will update for mapping and unmapping. Now in our last tutorial, we didn't do any error checking on H result, but what this will do is it'll return a Boolean true or false. So if for some reason it fails to map, then we will get back false and our error logger will say failed to map to constant buffer. However, if it successfully maps and unmaps, we will get back true. So let's go to our graphics header and we are going to include constant buffer. Now down where we had made our constant buffer, let's change this to be constant buffer. And now we have to pass in the type. So we had, it was the CBVS vertex shader. I'm just going to call that constant buffer. Now let's go to initialize scene where we are initializing it. And it was at the bottom. So we can take out this description. And what we will do is HR is going to be uh, constant buffer dot initialize. We'll pass in the device pointer and then the device context pointer. And that's a lot less, uh, you know, to look at when we're looking at our initialized scene. So now let's go up to render frame. And up in render frame, we will change the data like this. We won't declare a new object. We will just do constant buffer dot data dot x offset, you know, dot y offset and access it like that. And then when we want to update it, we will say if constant buffer apply changes. So we're going to see if it fails. If it fails, then was this? Ah, oh, this wasn't a, we'll just return. So if it fails, we just won't render this frame. We won't finish rendering it. Let's take that out. I don't know why it would fail, but I'll probably look into that and go over that <laughs> in the next tutorial when we go over the alignment or something. Oh, and the last thing we have to do is we have to set our constant buffers. So start slot zero, num buffers is one, and we have to get the pointer to the pointer. So we will call get address of. All right, now let's give this a test, see what we get. All right, and we get it at the top. And you know, if you wanted to test out changing the constant buffer, we could do something like, uh, store the Y offset and then every frame we could do like Y offset minus 0 0.1 and just set this to Y offset. And now when we test this, it should move down the screen after it starts. I'm not sure how fast it will be. Oh, it was pretty fast. I guess we should do 0 0.01. You see, now we've got it moving and it's gone. So yeah. That's all that we are going to cover in this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will probably go over the HLSL constant buffer byte alignment. 
And then after that, we will get into matrices.